guys, Empress Lex Sashay. Please like and subscribe. Thank you to everyone that does already. Sending positive vibes to everyone's way. And tell me why. I was thinking about going live to do, because here I'm doing Krishan's reading for the month of April. I want to see what's the energy going to be like. And I'm like, I'm going to go live. I'm going to go live. And I go on live. I'm like, why am I on live to do this type of reading? I never go live. So it gives me, she's going to be going live. Maybe something's going to be revealed. They always go on live, though. So I think something may go live. Maybe she may have technical difficulties. But I feel like it's giving me something big is going to happen on live with Krishan and Rock. Yeah. It's not too far, too far fetched because they're always going live. But yeah, that's just the download I had. So I'm doing April and G for Krishan. I'm going to start off with her. Both decks are upright. I say it's because, I don't know, since January, they really been getting a little bit weird for me, spiritual. I know Krishan is spiritual because she speaks a lot about God, but it's someone else that has some beliefs as well. And I'll say that. So, Spirit, I want to know what can we expect for the month of April for Krishan Rock? What is the NG going to be like for the month of April for Krishan Rock? For Kashan Rock, what is the energy going to be like for the month of April for Kashan Rock? People may be talking about her for the month of April. Something's going to happen where people may be talking about her. Like something's going to happen, like gossip, new gossip about her, people talking about her for the month of April. Give me something. She's she maybe going to do something where it's going to cause for people to talk about her per usual. Spirit, what can you tell me about Kashan Rock's energy for the month of April? Yeah, for these cards to come out easy, something's going to happen. Um, something's going to happen. Spirit, do I need to point in my cards? No. Huh. Something is going to happen. These cards came out too easy. The energy was just, came out too easy. So, the first cards we have, I hope you guys can see them. Um, it's the star and the sun that is interesting for her because I don't believe this ever comes out the star I, it's like for me fame wishes come true and it's also Aquarius energy typically it used to come out when I used to do their readings a lot and here you go it's starting off with Aquarius energy of the star this is hope stardom inspiration and pair it with the sun the sun is the happiest card in a deck, so this is interesting. She's happy about something. It's also spiritual guidance. Remember I just said we know she, she we know she talks about God a lot and I've been picking up on heavy spirituality and now we're starting that off. But you have the star and the sun. She's happy. Because both the star and sun's happiness as well. She's happy. She's coming to April happy. Everything's well. Mental health, um, success, <laughs> attainment, wealth, money. Everything's good. There's a renewal energy with her coming into the month of April. There's a renewal here. Then she's happy. Everything's good. Then you have the hangman and three of cups. More, the hangman is spiritual growth as well. I told y'all, a lot of spirituality, like a prophecy, like a prophecy is coming to be with the hangman. It's upright. It's nothing but uprights for her. So, so far, so good. Um, her trust is being tested, but it's like her prayers are being answered. She has a new perspective on things, and it's not. It's unconventional, but it's working for her. 
Um, it's also like she's sacrificing herself or she's willing to sacrifice herself to make this prophecy come to be. Like um, there's a submissive energy. She could be trying to tone it down a little and be more submissive obviously to blue face and this is involuntary almost like um she's involuntarily doing this but she's willing to sacrifice herself the hangman is paired with the three of cups this is happiness as well um unity is growth so it's like she's that self-sacrifice energy is like i'm sacrificing myself let's bring peace let's all work together for April, she's, she's going to have support. This is how, I'm just surprised. There's a lot of happiness here for her. Victory, she's going to be celebrating. She has a lot of events she may be going to, we'll see. Um, she's making friends with people that actually is sincere. Like, there's a lot of unity here. And that unity is bringing scrum for her. I don't know why I feel as if everyone is on one accord, me and Blueface and the family and you know, that whole situation. It's like, okay, I'll put what I feel to the side for this jubilation, this vitality. I feel like the Three of Cups could possibly be just being on one accord with the family unit. Blueface's family. I'll clarify. Then you got the Hermit and the King of Swords. That's a whole lot of happiness, girl. She, the Hermit is Virgo energy. That's introspection. You take time to receive guidance. A spirit guide as well. That could be a spirit guide. She's seeking something spiritually. Um like guidance and wisdom contemplating king of swords she's trying to be more analytical analytical which you know we know Christian is a little rough on the edges and she doesn't try to be anything else but it's an energy of trying to be more disciplined logical and ambitious even work on how she speaks to be a little bit more articulate king of swords is the masculine energy but she's a little masculine, so this could be her own energy, trying to be more of a man of action or have more action. So that is why she's in a hermit mode, and then she goes to the King of Swords. She is seeking wisdom so she can get more action or be able to do more action. She's trying to be highly disciplined. I'm, hey, I'm, I got butterflies. Two of swords and five of swords, five of wands. These are reverse. These are the first reverse we have for her. King of swords is just as energy as well. So it's like she's using spirituality to get some sort of justice. Now, Libra energy. Who's the Libra in this situation? Jane Alexis. Two of swords is in reverse. It's receiving clarity about something and, and more action, making a decision. Arbitration, um, I do know she has some court situation. I don't know if that's done. It could be related to that. Um, also, like, you know, I made a poor judgment on something. I made the wrong choice, and I'm trying to correct my mistakes. And, you know, once again, make, be more rational and make a rational decision. She's really trying to improve. Five of Wands is reverse. So all that fighting, she, we typically see her is some reason it's going to subside. Um, it's like she's trying to ignore it or just suppress a conflict, which is why I feel like she could possibly be trying to get everyone on a court if that's just what it is. Yeah, like she's compromising, compromising for opportunity, and it's also a reconciliation. And cooperation energy with the five of ones as well. Everyone's trying to work together. Five of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles paired together. That's odd that they both came out like that. Yes, you just five of Pentacles. 
Upright is typically material, material or spiritual poverty. Or helplessness, or like going through a hardship or financial difficulties, being desperate. Uh, could be related to health or illness or temporary hardship, but still trying to be resilient to get to it. But paired with the Six of Pentacles, this is receiving generosity, charity, like getting a knowledge and experience that can help you get out of this, like managing your finances better. I get that she's thinking about the past and she doesn't want to go back to the past, so she's willing to do whatever that she has to do to keep the Six of Pentacles energy coming. So it's five and six. You it's just weird how the cards came out. Um, Page of Swords and Ten of Cups. I, I, hey, you know, pages bring messages. Swords is action. I said it's a lot of action. I see a lot of swords. She's thinking differently. She's trying to be more assertive and like be more intellectual. And that, on the page of sources paired with Ten of Cups. And Ten of Cups is ultimate happiness. Like she has a plan that is going to lead her to this. Ten of Cups is ultimate happiness, genuine joy and love, spiritual pleasure. It's not the spirituality. So she gives me, she's really praying to just to get to this bright future. And I see April is not so bad. The only thing is, which is odd for her. I only got one cups, which cups are emotion. So that is odd. There's only one cups. That's three of cups. Oh, and then you have the ten of cups. Huh. I can get the feeling. Get the feeling. If you hear any scratching noises or something, it's my cat scratching their little toy they have. I get the feeling everyone is on the own, one accord. So what's going on with her shine and blue face for the month of April? Oh, okay. Wow. I didn't see nothing. Oh, uh, hey. What's going on with blue face and shine for the month of April? What is going on for the month of April for Blue Face and Kashan? Anything else, Spirit? coming out about the relationship though that is interesting anything else what's going on for blue face and christian for the month of april getting to the bag and getting about your feelings yeah okay um it's only three cards came out the justice reverse and the nine source reverse and the ace of wands reverse justice reverse is libra energy as well who's the libra <laughs> Jaden lexus but disregard that this reverse is bad karma, things being unfair, prejudice, the energy of chauvinism, chauvinism, like I could do this because I'm the man. And it is what it is. And it's a blind enthusiasm. Like, uh, alright, I'm just gonna force myself to be happy, but you're not really happy. There's corruption. And the justice card may be something to do with legalities, like we're just keeping it business. Or something to do with Jaden and Alexis as well, because she is a Libra energy. Uh, the Nine of Swords reverse. Um, despite that energy with the Justice card, there's a calmness. It's in control. She's trying to reduce her anxiety and heal and recuperate for something. And she's like, she knows the light is coming or light is coming. Um, and then Ace of Wands reverse. With the relationship, there's still a lot of frustration there. A lot of delayed energy but she's not inspired by it anymore like she doesn't have any willpower or she's not very ambitious about it and she still doesn't know what the ultimate vision is it's still not clear 
a lot of procrastination. And like I said, I didn't see much cups came out. It's like she's focused on the bag. What is this justice card? What is this justice card spirit? Let me take it back. What is that justice card reverse? Clarify that justice card. <laughs> what is that justice card reverse? Clarify that energy. This is just car reverse. Clarify the energy. A lot came out for that. There's that King of Swords energy again. I want to clarify who that King of Swords energy is. You have the four of pentacles and the five of wands. Oh. The justice card reverse. They're just focused on the excessive materialism, making sure well, there's not a material loss, focus on the money. For some reason, things are unstable, and it's an energy of she needs to save money. Five of Wands, again, you know, there's an opportunity trying to reconcile and cooperate and just ignore or suppress the conflicts, the drama, and subside. They like, let's just stop the fighting. Three of Wands and King of Swords. More action, be more ethical, fair justice. Wow, so the justice reverse literally <laughs> She's trying to get justice. She wants things to be more fair, more professional. Oh, is this relationship turning to be like, listen, he keeps saying he's your manager. So she's just like going with the flow. Like, okay. Um, then you got three of ones. It's like they, they have new opportunities and they're committed to completing whatever that is. That could be that show. I know it's another season of whatever it's called work and I try to finish that show finish these other opportunities but with the two of swords and the four of cups two, two of swords two of wands and the four of cups she has the wrong attention the goal really isn't clear she's being patient there's a lot of hasty planning rushing and being indecisive but four of cups is like She's, I told you she's detached. She's moving on from past hurts and trying to build a new relationship, regenerate a new connection with Blueface, or just in general. Maybe even in the public eye, she's trying to change how people perceive her. Five of Pentacles again. Ultimately, she doesn't want to go back to how things used to be for this to come out again. You know, she's in this new mindset to prevent her going back to those financial dick foot critiques she had or the desperation she had the temporary hardship she had she doesn't want to go back there huh it's a lot of, it's peace what's going on with that baby I know I said I don't feel like she's pregnant still but spirit what's going on with this baby is Christian still pregnant what is the April NG around this pregnancy? What is the April NG around this pregnancy with Krishan? Same card literally coming out almost is weird. Um, the first card that came out was the King of Cups reverse and the five of lumps again. 
just it's funny I'm asking about the pregnancy and it's that came out again reconciling and cooperating for other opportunities and just ignoring or suppressing the conflict or the dramas King of Cups Reverse is the energy of someone being spiteful obsessive someone trying to reapproach this differently um, someone not having the, the ability to cope with something they're distracted very volatile Do I think she's pregnant? No, I don't think she's pregnant. And I don't think she really dealt with that situation. King of Swords again. I need to clarify who's this King of Swords. Trying to be professional. This relationship is <laughs> it's definitely more on the business aspect now. Three of Ones again. Exploring new opportunities. Very committed to completing something. I don't see no emotion besides this King Cuts reverse. Reverse and related to this pregnancy. Judgment. Yeah, it's a judgment call. Renewal, rebirth. A transition. She had an epiphany about something. But um transition is also death, so I just I'm hearing beeping. That's so weird when I said that transition. Transition could also be death as well. Um, she made a judgment about that situation. And to, judgment card could be needing forgiveness or seeking forgiveness. Um, having an awakening and epiphany about it and a spiritualization. What is beeping? Okay, so I think I'm going to... Um, That is so weird. When I got to talk about this baby, I don't think she's pregnant anymore. She made a judgment call in reference to it. Yeah. She made a judgment call in reference to that pregnancy. I wanted to continue, but I'm hearing a beeping sound. I don't know what that is. So it gives me, I feel like I'm right. She's not pregnant um, anymore. She made a judgment call about that, and now she's just trying to. Their relationship for April was very business like. Uh, Spirit, is there any more messages for Krishan for the month of April? spirit anything else spirit I'm just hearing a lot of sounds in this reading anything else okay yeah page of ones and uh, not in the cups. She came out of her own energy, Pisces energy, with this um, nine of cups. Page of Wands is new. Something's new coming. New clothes you see here. This is new clothes and he's looking at something. More of a free spirit and um, she's realizing she has limitless potential and she's excited. So it coincides with the other spread she's super happy about something um the nine of cups is that's the ten of cups came out for her this is the nine of cups she is happy with the stability and the luxury she's very grateful for it she has an emotional stability she's sad about she's happy my wishes are coming true for her she's focused on the business um what about her and Jane Alexis? <laughs> what about her and Jane Alexis for the month of April? Anything else, 
hat. Thank you. First card was the Nine of Swords reverse, Capricorn and Curry's energy. Then a Nine of Pentacles reverse, the Queen of Pentacles reverse, and the Two of Cups reverse. She don't care. She's hustling. She's obsessed with work. It's a false success, but that's what she's focused on. There's jealousy, though, with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Maybe on both ends. There's still that work at home conflict, obviously. But she doesn't care. She's focused on the financial independence. There's a obviously a disharmony between there. There's tension. But it is what it is. That's what I'm feeling. She feels about it. It is what it is. She's focused on the money. But why is that coming up for her and Jane and Alexis? Not about my, it's like I feel like they're working together. Why is it nothing but pinnacles really that came out for how she feels about Jane and Alexis? Like, why did I come out for it? they working together in some weird sort of way i don't know if the family show is going to come out they're trying to get a show where it's all them on there there's the empress the empress finally came out uh -huh, it finally came out Uh, the um, Empress Reverse and the Seven of Cups Reverse. They know it's like they have to deal with the situation about Blueface being with both of them and they can't do anything about it. And obviously the Empress, she's the one with his kids. They didn't come out all this reading for Krishan and came out for Jane Alexis. She knows there's a secrets there. A lot of a lot of confusion still though. I think like our blue face and her are still messing around. Like what is like she doesn't really know for sure, but she knows for sure. Yeah, you know the Empress in reverse and the Seven of Cups both saying the same thing is that all being overwhelmed by choices. A lot of confusion and diversion here. With that situation, five of cups and a devil. Hmm. This is Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy as well. It's like she wants it to be over and dead because Scorpio represents death. Um, Krishan also has some regrets and disappointment. She's grieving something. Uh, this is interesting. And then obviously, the devil is toxicity. Oh, she feels like that Jamie Alexis brings the toxicity to her relationship like destructive behavior like hmm clarify spirit what is she um grieving when it pertains to jane alexis what is krishan grieving oh four of wands in reverse she's grieving A home conflict. She feels like she's the empress is the reason why she can't personally celebrate. She can't personally have an inner harmony. And there's a transition again here. There's the energy of a transition. There's a home conflict and she feels like Jane Alexis is the reason why. She looks at her. So is Krishna looking at 
Jane Alexis as if she's the devil. Is that what this is saying, Spirit? <laughs> Two of Cups in reverse. Not a definite answer, but there you go with. She feels like she's the reason why there's disharmony. There's a, there's a breakup. Did Krishan and Blueface break up? Because I am getting a relationship with more business. Did Krishan and Blueface break up? Oh, were they ever together? Did Krishan and Blueface break up? Yes, Page of Swords. They're doing things new just to for their mental energy and it got tiring. And Jane, oh, Aquarius energy. This is the next card. Something to do with his betrayal, thinking he's getting away with something and acting strategically. And with Jane and Alexis. So the relationship is more business now. It definitely is more business. She's like, she's not finding that anymore. It is what it is. Uh, I'm in that there. Let me figure out what's beeping in here. Like all these random noises. I don't like. I don't. Hmm. I, she looks like she's gonna be happy though. I'm happy for her. 